Hello, it is Thursday afternoon. I thought I would show you what I have been up to. Basically, Kyle and I are going tomorrow as soon as he gets off from work. He's going to finish around lunchtime, I believe. And we're only taking our car to go and pick up the keys to our new house. And these are all the things I've packed ready to hopefully fit in the car along with the second tv so i'm hoping that fingers crossed all of this along with the second tv will fit that'll be really easy for me to pack in the car tonight kyle will help me put the tv in there and then tomorrow morning while he's at work i'm going to put all of this around it i've also been busy in this room just packing everything and taking everything off of the walls and I've decided to colour code. We probably will end up taking these smaller boxes on one of our trips. I definitely want to take all the mirrors ourselves just so I know that they won't be broken. Yeah, so basically that's what I've been up to today. I've just got I've got another box here that's just like our board games and I've sat the Lego on top. <laughs> I can hear Diesel downstairs. Um, yeah, I was just working on packing everything from this set of drawers here. Although, I think, yeah, that's my jumpers in there. This is some of our niece and nephew stuff. And there's just like spare car key some hooks and a bit of paperwork in there now but i managed to get all the board games and the lego and stuff out so yeah basically just got to do the jumpers and then a couple of odd little bits and pieces i bought this kit it's like a spout and handle repair kit i got this from bunnings and it turns out i didn't need it i i actually purchased it for one of these tiny little screws like this i think it's called a grub screw it's really really tiny and these also go in like the bottom part of other fixtures for the bathroom like toilet roll holders and stuff and i thought i needed it for the shower rail because where the handheld part sits it was loose and i tried there's like three different sizes and i tried all of them and it turns out i just needed to twist the like part around to tighten it so didn't actually need this but i'm sure it will come in handy in the future yeah so i thought i would just start this vlog now because i think it's going to be a pretty busy and full-on day tomorrow as soon as kyle leaves work it's about a two hour drive one and a half to two hours we will go and pick up the keys drop off our car load of stuff and then we're actually going to drive back home because on saturday we've got a van that we're going to hire and we're just going to take our bedroom furniture so we'll take like our bedside tables and bed and mattress and that kind of stuff and i think we're going to just sleep in this room until we move because the reason why i've well we decided to just empty our bedroom is because it still needs painting so it'll actually just be a lot easier if it's empty and this room's already like done and painted so we can sleep in there friday is like a quick trip i say quick but it's it's not fast like we'll probably get back fairly late um and then saturday morning early we'll pick up the van take the load with that bedroom furniture we're going to take this big huge mirror in the van and then hopefully 
This couch here actually does come apart into like two separate pieces. It's a... Isn't like a modular when it kind of clicks together? I don't know. But this basically is the small version of our big L-shaped lounge downstairs. And I'm pretty sure the big one won't actually... Diesel, are you alright? Just licking yourself very loudly. Such an attention seeker. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, we're pretty sure that the big couch won't actually fit in our new living area. So this is going to be the one. And then we'll store the big one, I think, in the shed while we're renting. That is the plan. And the reason why we've decided to take those few things with us, including the TV as well, is because we are already paying rent and it's like a month before we actually need the house. As I explained in my last vlog, I think it was, we were just super fortunate that the owner already gave us two weeks and we thought we might as well go and spend time there while we're paying rent. So each time when we go in our car, we can take a few more of the smaller breakable things that we're not necessarily using at the moment. But yeah, that's the plan. So Saturday, when we take the van over, we've just got the van overnight and we're going to take Diesel for his first visit to the house and sleep over as well, which is really exciting. I think that's all I really have to update you on. So this is like, I don't know, Diesel, can we call this moving vlog number one? I guess technically it is like we're picking up the keys and taking a few little bits and pieces. So yeah, I think it's moving vlog number one. I can't actually believe that. And then we are filming an empty house tour as well. We've also got our first COVID vaccinations booked in on the day before we move. So I am hoping that we both feel okay afterwards, but we're getting Pfizer, I believe. So I'm sure we should be fine. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it for now. I'll probably speak to you again tomorrow when I'm trying to fit all this stuff in to the car. Good morning. It is the next day. I'm just getting the last thing to put into the car to take with us to the new house. Please excuse the hair. I've just finished doing yoga and taking Diesel for his morning W. He's having a nap on the couch. He's not very impressed watching me go in and out of the garage to put things in the car. But I think this is the last thing that I will fit. But yesterday, this entire area here over by the couch was stacked with things to put in the car. So thankfully it all fits. The only thing was Last night we tried to get the TV in the car and we just couldn't and we didn't want to lay it down and, and risk damaging it so we'll leave it for the removalists. And there was a mirror on the wall here that I've also managed to fit in the car because it's quite fragile. Stay there, Diesel. Hopefully this should go in the boot. If not, I can probably squeeze it in the back seat. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll have to find room for it <laughs> on this side. I think it will go. I like maybe I'll put the toilet paper in the boot instead. That might have to do for now. It's all in there. The boot's pretty full. We could probably fit a few more like small things. I might. Push the toilet roll in there, it might help. The mirror to not move around so much. Probably won't. I'm gonna close it gently in case. Plenty of room in there. Yay. <laughs> so that's all the stuff in the car for now. If there's any other little bits and pieces Kyle wants to bring. Oops, turn the light off. 
if there's any other little bits and pieces that Kyle wants to bring, he can put them in when he gets home. But for now, I need to go and have a shower and just get ready so that when he gets back, basically we can leave. It's not quite 10 o'clock, so I've managed to take Diesel out for his W, do yoga, morning load of washing has been washed and hung out. I've loaded the car, made the bed. I'll probably speak to you again when I have something else to update you on. It's about half past one, Kyle's home. We've had some leftover veggie shepherd's pie for lunch. And I'm just grabbing my phone and charger for this camera, just in case. May you be good, Diesel. We'll be home soon. We are ready to leave. I need some shoes. I'm just going to bring my vans. We'll see you soon. Got the keys. I don't know which is which. It's just a whole bag. Right. We're going to go unlock the door for the first time. Let's try and get in this house. You want to go in through the back door? We're going in. There's still a random table there. Maybe it belongs to the owner. Yeah, it does need a mow. I feel like maybe they didn't do it since we came to inspect. No. Here's the side. Well, look at all the scratches in that back door there. We'll definitely have to make sure we put that on our entry thing report. I'm so red. Probably because I was so hot in the car. Are they all labelled or are we just going to have to try yeah, some random... Labeled. I don't think our fridge yeah. would get through this, this door. This one is definitely wouldn't. It's quite narrow. Security door. This isn't the security door. There's no other door. Maybe we don't have a key for the back. Let's go through the front. Why would they not? It doesn't make sense. How about you go in and let me through? Are we sure previous tenants didn't have a dog? Because it looks all chewed. I think maybe someone had a dog and they like... Possibly didn't say that they did. He's in. Is that? Thank you. Oh look, it's not repainted. <laughs> I'll just match the paint colour and do it myself. The blinds are not replaced. The lady said they would be. What is that? I think it's like varnish that's bubbled up. So, we're going to do a separate house tour. We'll definitely vlog when we come back here tomorrow. It looks so disheveled. <laughs> oh, what was that? Mm, turn it back around. Yeah, I think. At least we've got a bit of storage in the kitchen anyway. Should I do a sneak peek of the kitchen before I do my tour? Sure. Okay. What are you measuring? Yeah, I think it is. We knew that. There's a sneak peek. Ta-da! Yeah, I'll film a bit more probably tomorrow now. So we're just going to bring in our stuff. And I guess, it's, yeah, we'll do a house, empty house tour tomorrow as well. Okay, we've brought that load of stuff in. We're just sitting it in here because I haven't brought a vacuum or anything. We're hopefully bringing our bed tomorrow. And then things can go into the bedroom, but right now everything's just kind of sitting in here. We've got this wide actually. 
just so people can't really see our stuff. Um, and that's it. Kyle says he's starving hungry. So we're going to go get some food. And like I said, we will be back tomorrow with a few things. And I will do like an empty house tour. Oh, that's nice. The bathroom bin just on the bench. It's brand new, so don't worry. Kyle's starving. I guess we better get going. But we haven't been here very long. Just long enough to look around and try and work out where we're putting things. And then, yeah, we just brought in the stuff i packed in the car this morning this is the diameter of our dining table so it's just not going to fit here unfortunately but kyle had the idea without showing you too much of the house we might be able to fit it in here and have the couch over this side but anyway i will bring the tape measure and I guess we will go. I'm gonna bring some cleaning things back tomorrow and maybe some filler to patch this up as well. We were kind of under the impression that it was getting fixed before we moved in. But anyway, luckily we know how to do that. So it is Saturday morning. I just thought I would show you what we're up to we've been busy oh it's almost 10 past 10 um i've just got diesel's little backpack here because he's coming for his first sleepover in the new house it's got a cute little floppy bunny key ring from Kmart. um have a look at the van we've got our bed bedside tables the upstairs couch like all the cushions, the mattress. We've still got to fit Diesel's bed, the vacuum, cleaning things because I won't be able to relax if I don't clean certain areas before we use them. And Diesel's currently outside so he doesn't get in the way. But I'll show you what it looks like upstairs at the moment. So here's the like upstairs kind of living room area. Here is our room. <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere. That's just the slats from our bed that need to go in the van. I've thrown our doona and pillows in here and the clean washing because I had, I washed the sheets because I washed these, the doona cover and that um, the day before yesterday. So I thought I'll get the sheets washed while we're going to be away and I've just hung those out. I just need to pack a bag for Kyle and I for the night now and that's about it. Put a blanket in the van for Diesel to sit on in the middle. Is that it? I just need to pack a bag for us now? Yep. I think that's it. It's a bit hot. Right. BLB. We're in the van and look who's with us. to see your new house? Are you? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll unlock the door if you want right, to get... Door, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't remember which one 
of the remotes actually. No, that one doesn't work. That one. Okay, doors open. Come on, Diesel, come and see your new house. Oh, he's wagging. Are you so excited? It looks like small Wow. Oh boy, look at this! Oh? <laughs> what do you want to see? It's nice and cool. Eh? It is nice and cool. Should I open this for him? He might need a wee. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Oh, careful. He's not sure about the stairs yet, I don't think. Wow! Oh. Not as many stairs to get down as home. You have to sniff every single thing. Oh boy! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> There's steps here, but he'll learn. That's so fun. Don't get lost in the grass. Oh, there we go. He's done a wee on the weed. Oh, good. <laughs> I hope that kills it. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know what's in there. Maybe we'll have to block that off. Look at you. You're so happy. I left my shoes in the car. Diesel. Come on. Diesel, come here. Oh, stop. What? Tomato cage. Oh. I think we'll have to block that off. Oh, wow, Diesel. Are you so happy? Are you going to come inside? You coming? Whoa, slow down. He's so happy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Right, we're going to film my house tour in a minute, so I don't really want to show too much more of the house. But here's our happy boy. some branches down so we can actually get the car into the garage. Oh yeah, they're a bit overgrown. I'm gonna keep doing this and hopefully it'll dry so I can sand it back and do another coat before we leave. But other than that, there's not much else to update on this vlog so I think I'll end it here because it's already like four days worth. But thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video, which will be our sort of empty house tour. We have brought a few little bits and pieces in, but thanks for watching. Bye.